Now, of course, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is now in theaters. We're going to be reviewing the film a little bit later in the show. But this was kind of interesting. During the press tour, Evangeline Lilly, again, good Canadian kid, who kind of really came to fame in the show Lost. That's where she really became huge. And in one of my most biggest pleasant surprise movies of the past couple of decades, Real Steel, that she co-starred in with Hugh Jackman. Well, apparently, because of her popularity in Lost, a lot of film franchises were looking to get their claws into her, including... The X-Men franchise. I see what you did there. Uh, you like that? You like that? Huh? huh? I'm glad you caught that. Including the X-Men franchise, they really wanted to get her in. But here's the problem. She wasn't taking their calls. She was turning down meetings, wasn't taking their calls. So when the producers at 20th Century Fox, where X-Men was at the time, found out that she was doing a movie with Hugh Jackman, they said, Hugh, Hugh, you're going to pull her aside, pitch her, pitch her on becoming an X-Man. And uh, apparently she, uh, she said no. She turned down Hugh Jackman, which is not an easy thing to do. Uh, the folks over at Deadline wrote the following. They said, even the charms of Hugh Jackman were not enough to convince Evangeline Lilly to become an X-Man, or woman as the case may be. During the promotional rounds for her new film, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, Lilly revealed that she once turned down Jackman's pitch to have her join an X-Men film. The request came while they were both working on the 2011 film Real Steel, and she told the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, he was like, hey, so the X-Men guys are asking me if I would approach you because they know you won't talk to anybody, she said. They knew I was working with you and they were interested to know if you would ever do the X-Men thing. And she said, I was like, nope, it doesn't interest me. I'm not interested. And then she says, you know, I kind of feel like a dick just saying that, like you should at least pretend that you were interested. Now, also around the same time, I guess Joss Whedon was trying to court her to play Wonder Woman. Now, I don't know what was going on with DC and Joss Whedon at the time that he was going around trying to find a woman when she turned that one down too. She talks about she wasn't interested in comic movies at the time. And then she started to see what Marvel was doing and she started saying, these movies look interesting. And that's when she entertained being the Wasp. But it's just kind of funny. You think today, now we're going back into the earlier 2000s, you know, the, the 2000s, we're going back over a decade now. But like today... I mean, other than Leonardo DiCaprio, no actors are turning down big, big comic book franchises. At least very few. Very few are turning those ones down. But uh, she was turned down X-Men. She was turned down DC, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this as an actress yourself, mm -hmm. hearing about other actresses turning down these, these roles. But she was probably pretty oh, busy at the time. Oh, to be in that position, that would be nice. It's a good problem <laughs> to have. What do you think about this? I mean, I think that it's great that she's being honest about it. Of just look at the time, this was not something that people thought was particularly, you know, good for your career or maybe wasn't good for mine. And now that I've seen some of the other work, I absolutely want to be in this kind of stuff. And obviously she is. And I think we all kind of forget about that, too. For a while, you know, comic book movies weren't these big blockbusters. They were pretty goofy. They were kind of looked down on. I mean, not in the way that people talk about how it's not cinema, but in general, movie audiences weren't rushing out to see a lot of these things for several years. We slowly had this buildup with the X-Men films, with the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films. So I totally get why she'd pass on them, even with Hugh Jackman telling her she should do it. That's the part that killed me. Yeah. When, when Hugh Jackman <laughs> says, hey, I'd like you to come and be in these movies with me. It's like, like how in demand are you or how... Just secure are you in where you are in life right now that you go, mm, nah. I don't know. Rob, you heard about this story. What do you think? Well, I mean, I can understand, I guess. I can understand that because we, you know, we think that by being in the movie business, it's the end all be all of of experiences. And there's a lot of people that while they love their professions, they also want to be able to do other things. And she was in a show that had a lot of scrutiny that ran for a long time. So she was probably now, pretty... By the way, she still makes residual checks on Yeah, it. yeah. She still it's is getting paid show, for being in loss. And she was one of the principals of that show, so she was not doing badly. And I'm sure that she wanted to take her pick of things. And she's a good Canadian girl, right? She probably, you know, wanted to live her life. And I can understand that being in an X-Men movie doesn't necessarily further your career the way you might want it to. You know, where where uh where's Psylocke these days? You know, mm. <laughs> like mm. wow. so it, Ouch. It's, I, I know I, I shouldn't be mean. I, I don't mean to be mean. Maybe um, it's John Mulaney. But <laughs> she yeah, she yeah, Silex with John Mulaney. Yeah, now. she's with John Mulaney. There you go. And he's not doing badly at all. I don't know their no, no, he's not. Uh so but no, that's that's um that's what I mean. Life. 
life happens to you. <laughs> but I look, I love Evangeline Lilly. I love her as a presence. I've, I I think she's great. And I love her as the Wasp. Hot Toys made an action figure of her. And they're going to make another one. Uh, so she's great. But I think it's cool that she did this on her own terms. And then what did she do? She comes back to the Marvel Universe. And now her character's name is on the masthead. It might come after Ant-Man. But now she has two movies with Ant-Man and the Wasp. Which yeah. she, uh, I think she made the right choice in the long run. Good for you, Evangeline. All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about the sounds of Evangeline Lilly? Actually, probably could have been even more prominent things, but maybe she couldn't have been an Ant Man if she did. She was offered Wonder Woman. She was offered the X Men, and there was a period of time where she's like, maybe the comic book industry wasn't quite where it needed to be yet. I don't know. What do you think about that? Sounds crazy turning down roles like that, but I guess that's what she did. Whatever you guys think about that, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Manscaped. Breaking news, Manscaped now sells beard products. That's right, they are once again revolutionizing men's grooming with the brand new Beard Hedger Pro Kit. Now you can finally use Manscaped products to make your drapes match your carpet by going to manscaped.com and using the code Campia for 20% off and free shipping. It all starts with the Beard Hedger. This thing is a juggernaut of fixing faces. First off, this cordless trimmer has a rotary wheel that gives you 20 hair cutting lengths, all with one guard. So no more messy drawers full of extra add-ons. You also get the beard shampoo and conditioner. Because guys, you gotta remember that all of your hair is different. Your beard hair is more coarse and easier to damage than the hair on your head. Next, the kit has Manscaped's beard oil. The oil relieves dryness both on the beard and the skin beneath. You then cap it off with the Beard Bomb that shapes, styles, moisturizes, and tames for a sculpted look. The Pro Beard Kit also comes with three special gifts, a beard brush, comb, and scissors to ensure your beard is ready to impress. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code CAMPIA at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code CAMPIA. Manscaped Beard Hedger, one stroke, one guard, 20 lengths.